Okay, so this is the old charger hash stripe. We ask you to cut it out with scissors, align it on the bumper, and stick it to the car. Not a bad method, but we can definitely make it better. That's gone. This is the new product. Perfectly cut to fit every single time so that you don't end up with weird spacing or the hash marks at a wrong angle. Now we're gonna show you what it takes to put this on the car. Okay, so laid out here, what you see are all the different reflective colors that we offer this decal in. We've got red, green, yellow, blue, white, and black. These are absolutely stunning at night. They all reflect super bright. You're guaranteed to be noticed on the road. Now these decals do get installed on a textured black piece of plastic. Not many vinyl war companies will warranty vinyl that is installed to this plastic. That's why we're using the types of vinyl that we use because they have very aggressive adhesives, reflectives, will stick to this quite well but we do wanna make sure that we clean it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with Chaos X, which just happens to be our in-house all-purpose cleaner. So you're gonna to wanna to start this with an all-purpose cleaner. Then we're gonna do a final wipe with the isopropyl alcohol. And then you either leave it and let it dry out completely so that you don't have any water in between these cracks, or you can accelerate that with a blower, an air compressor, or a heat gun. Okay, now that we've got the car clean, we've made sure we have no moisture here in the crack, we're gonna talk about the tools needed for this job. This is probably one of the easiest decals that we offer. So really all you're gonna need is a squeegee, a card will even work. I do have a knife out here just in case I wanna cut in between the hash stripes, if it'll make it a little easier, but it shouldn't be necessary. Keep the squeegee, and I'm gonna take the reflective red hash stripes, that's what we're gonna put on this car here. And you can see, because it's cut, just like we mentioned, fits right in place. No opportunity to, to twist it, move it around. It's exactly where you want them. Typically, you install this material wet, but we're not gonna do that because we have a low surface energy plastic. This is gonna be dry, but you will be able to reposition it if need be because this texture will actually act as air channels and help you with this install. It's very simple. Pull it off the backing paper, line it to the vehicle. Notice I'm not really tacking down on the vinyl just yet. Just kind of looking everywhere, make sure that this lines up, which it does. Perfect. There we go. See, I'm squeegeeing down in the motion of the hash stripes. I can lift up this transfer paper if need be. Now that we've hit the body line, we're gonna start curving our strokes down and apply the stripes. That's all there is to it. At this point, we're gonna be able to remove the transfer paper. We're gonna come back with a heat gun, and we're gonna make sure that these are conformed down to this vinyl. One thing to be careful of is that you don't pull up one of these corners, which didn't happen. Just get the transfer paper completely off. Now, we will introduce a little bit of heat so that we can make sure that this vinyl is conformed to that texture. Stay long-term. And there you go, that's all there is to it. This decal is now applied, finished, we are ready to roll.